Hello, this is Mr. Russ, and I'm going to walk you through the protein synthesis activity, uh, the media project activity. And so we'll start with transcription, and then uh, we'll go to translation. And so for the first part, for transcription, I think uh, it'd be helpful to be in 10.2 of your textbook. And um, you obviously you need the materials, the DNA strand. Now this is just the template strand. It's not showing the whole DNA strand. It's not showing the other side. You need some mRNA nucleotides and uh, just a piece of paper cut out to represent an RNA polymerase enzyme. Okay, so in the book, we're going to want to first look at um, the initiation phase of transcription. So that is where the RNA polymerase enzyme binds to the promoter region. And so we're not going to get into all the initiation factors, but we did say let's um, try to identify the TATA region. So that is a specific code that not all um, not all genes use, but um, the one we're looking at uses this uh, promoter sequence. And so the RNA polymerase enzyme will bind at that region, and then it will read the DNA strand in this direction. So this is the um, three prime to five prime direction that's being read. And so maybe this would be a good first picture showing the initiation phase. Next, we'll go through uh, elongation, and that's where the mRNA is being synthesized. And so as the RNA polymerase moves along the DNA template strand, the RNA nucleotides are added complementary to the DNA nucleotides. So for your second picture, it might be nice to maybe have the RNA polymerase having gone down a, a ways along the DNA strand, and then just show the growing mRNA transcript. Again, similar to your book here, showing the mRNA transcript uh, leaving at the site of transcription and so um, I'll go ahead and pause and I'll put that together. Okay, so this might be a reasonable picture to take showing, um, again, this is the mRNA transcript that's made. This is the DNA template strand. This is being made in the five prime to three prime direction. And the site of uh, pro uh, transcription is the RNA polymerase enzyme. So this might be a good uh, way to look at that second picture. And so termination, the third picture might show the RNA polymerase leaving and it'll show the finished mRNA transcript. Okay, so here we have our DNA template strand, and here's our mRNA uh, molecule that was made, and again, it was made complementary to the DNA template, so this might be a good third picture showing the termination. The RNA polymerase enzyme has left, and now what we need to do is we need to uh, modify that mRNA strand using a GTP cap and a poly-A tail. All right, so now we're gonna be at the mRNA processing step. So before mRNA can leave the nucleus, it needs to be processed. Uh, we're not gonna show in this activity the cutting out of introns and the splicing together of exons. This just doesn't have that built into it. So that's kind of missing from this activity, but it's still important to know that that happens. It talks about how that happens, again, in uh, section 10.2. And then in the bottom of page 195, uh, talks about adding the G prime cap, the five prime uh, cap, which would be a, a GTP molecule, similar to ATP, but it's a GTP, and then a three prime poly A tail. So we gonna, we're going to do that. That's part of the steps here. So find the appropriate end of the mRNA molecule. So this is the five prime end. So this is the end that needs the GTP cap. So then on this end, you would tape a GTP molecule protecting this end from degradation by RNA ACE enzymes. And then on the other end, on the three prime end, the three prime carbon, you're gonna add a poly A tail, and it says in the directions to add six adenines. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a minute before I do translation because um, I just noticed something, this is the first time I've done the activity also, um, something that's in the directions that I should have done that I didn't, that I think a lot of students also missed this part, so I'm going to show this, is that um, in the directions it says that when we made our mRNA with our RNA polymerase enzyme, it said, and here's our TATA region where we started, TATA, um, it said not to actually do transcription on that region, the TATA, and to only transcribe the mRNA downstream, so if this is going this direction, then this is downstream of it. This would be upstream over here. 
So I guess what that means, the summary of that, is that this would have started here, but this mRNA wouldn't have been made because it's not downstream of the TATA region. It is right next to it. And so find where that was in the mRNA, and I'm going to make sure that I did not transcribe that region. So I'm just going to basically make a cut, and I'm going to cut that region out because that shouldn't have, that shouldn't have been made. I'm going to cut the G prime or the phi prime GTP cap. And so I'm just showing that the TATA region would not have been transcribed. In real life, this would be about 25 or so base pairs upstream of the actual transcription. It would be even further than this. But for the point of this activity, let's just make sure that just that TATA region does not get transcribed. So I'm going to then put the G prime or the phi prime GTP cap right there, and I'll tape it. So I should just make sure that everyone, if you had transcribed that region right there, don't use it because that's going to kind of mess up the rest of this activity if you did do that. Okay, for the second part of this activity, which is translation or taking an amino a or a, uh, an mRNA sequence, genetic code, and turning it into an amino acid polypeptide sequence, uh, we'll be looking at uh, 10.3 in the book. 10.3 uh, is translation. It has on page 197 the code to read if you need that. And then as you go further, it talks more about the process, talks specifically about tRNA molecules and how they carry the amino acids. And then I think that's going to be really helpful for you guys is the phases of translation. So for instance, initiation, how that works, elongation of this phase, and termination. So kind of the same terminology, but again, we're referring to translation or the making of the um, amino acid protein sequence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, position my mRNA molecule the same way it is in the book. So uh, it just kind of shows this process almost identical to what's going on in the book here. So um, I'm going to start with my five prime end, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to try to find a start codon. Remember, the start codon is the uh, methionine. It's the AUG. And again, if you needed to reference that, you go back to the, the code chart on page 197 and find that AUG is methionine. That's the start codon. So I'm going to look for an AUG. There's one right there, AUG. And so at that uh, location, the um, small subunit of the ribosome attaches. And also, we get our complementary um, tRNA. So I'm going to make a complementary tRNA card to the AUG. So I'm going to make a UAC, and that's going to be methionine. I'll just write met. That's fine. So that's going to attach. Actually, I'm going to put that on this side. This side. It's going to work a little better if I go on that side. So there's AUG, complementary to the tRNA UAC. So this would be maybe a good um, picture to show initiation. Um, Maybe you want to get this in as well. Oh, shoot, this is going to look kind of weird. OK, I'll attach it like that. I kind of cut it backwards. I should have cut it better. There we go. OK. So here's initiation. I have the tRNA molecule complementary to the mRNA codon, AUG. It's methionine. It's in the P site. And then um, this is going to, so that's be a pretty good picture for initiation. If you turn the page to 202 in the book, it's going to talk about um, just how it works, the elongation phase. And so as this continues, the ribosome is going to move along. The tRNAs are going to stay complementary. And we're going to end up cutting out the amino acids. They're going to leave. The tRNA molecule is going to leave, and it's going to leave behind an amino acid. Okay, and the other codes are going to. So that's where the AOG was. The next one looks like it's UGA. So then that's that tRNA. So remember, you have to look up the mRNA sequence, though. I kind of got confused for a second. The, the mRNA is ACU, complementary to the anticode on UGA. So I look up ACU, and ACU on the code chart is threonine. 
And then the next one is G C U. Remember, I look up the mRNA codon, so G or C G A. CGA is arginine. So this is kind of the beginning of the elongation phase where the ribosome is moving along the mRNA and the tRNA are coming into the EP or A sites here. They're actually coming in the A site and leaving out the E site here. I guess E for exit, right? And then the amino acids are gonna start getting connected together. So when the ribosome moves along and leaves, then that's when you can cut out the amino acid. And again, you're forming a polypeptide chain that you're reading along here. So again, keep putting in the next tRNA. So this would be like a good elongation phase of transcription. I mean, um, I'm sorry. This would be a good elongation phase of translation. And then the next step would be termination. And you can just show a termination would be the ribosome leaving. And you've got a finished polypeptide chain. So hopefully that was helpful. And good luck. <laughs>